what it's taken you to get there and to really give zero fucks. Like really, you can see that in your content and you speak your truth so well in it. What has it taken you to get there, especially your following? Because we know that didn't happen overnight. It feels like it happened overnight, but it really, really didn't. So let's let's dive a little bit into how you've actually created your personal brand. It's it's such a good one because just to take you back when I started this account, I had zero followers, right? And I had no idea what I was doing, literally no idea. I was like, I'm just going to do this thing and see what happens. And I remember my first goal, and I spoke to my mentor about it at the time, I was like, oh, I just love to have 100 followers. Like this was my big goal, right, for myself, 100 followers starting this new account. And so, you know, how I showed up then and what I still do now and it's been a growth and an evolution, but, you know, I I really believe in my heart and soul that the way that we build our dream business and the way that we find our people and the way that we form real connections with people that we actually enjoy. And like you said, Jess, you know, like getting to know you and being like, yeah, cool. I'd like totally sleep in a king size bed with you and like, you know, like go away and on a holiday. Like it's just, it's one of those things. And that's the connection point that we, that we want to have, right? And particularly in this business. But I think for me, realizing that the way that I find those things and the way that I find those real connections and those friendships and the Instagram friends and the business partners and the mentors and the coaches that are actually for me is by me bringing as much of me to to that space as I can so that people understand who I am and they know whether or not I'm for them. Likewise, if they're for me, right? Building a brand has been a lot and mostly I would say probably around self-trust knowing that if I post this thing and I don't get any likes or followers from it and I it just goes nowhere or people don't connect with it, I'm okay still. Like it's not going to impact me drastically. Like I can hold my own. I can be okay with that. And likewise, when, you know, we progress and we're like creating content that's speaking to people, that's bringing people in, it's about, again, like trusting yourself that you can hold hold it all. Like, And it sounds a bit crazy, but I think for me, like when I say something controversial or when I say something that's a bit polarizing perhaps, and I haven't built my brand around that, granted there was a period of time where I was being very, very vocal about everything that was going on in our world. I was posting a lot about that and that was really consuming me. And while I've created some amazing connections from that place and people that have now since joined in the business, which is incredible, that was like a season for me of doing that. It became really obvious to me that I was, it wasn't making me feel good to continue to post and echo and post things just that were, you know, polarizing and controversial and then deal with the constant flowback from that. Um, But also it kept me distracted from my bigger goals. So while I'm over here commentating on everything that's going on in the world and being triggered and reacting to things that were happening, it's actually pulling me off my own course, which is creating and feeling inspired and aligned and energized about what I'm doing over here. In a world of social media, like I see a lot of people that try and build a brand on on being controversial or being polarizing and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to create that because you get the engagement and you get the things. But I think for me, there's there's a fine line between actually building your brand around things that make you feel really epic and pull you into your vision and pull you into what you want to create and bring people into that world as opposed to keeping people over here, you know, where we're constantly at the problem. For me, what became really evident, I want to talk about more the solution. I want people to land on my page and feel really good, feel really inspired. I want them to build belief in themselves. I want them to see me maybe as an example for them that like, you know, and a lot of people have come with me that whole period of time, right? So a lot of people have come with me from my previous network marketing business and stayed for this, this new era, which has been really cool because again, this is like personal branding. It's like you can move and pivot. You might change slightly your offers. You might do something a little bit different over here, but you're still connecting with people because they're there for you and they love you for what you're, you know, for who you are. They get to know you and that's the connection piece, which I really love. And I've, I've really been so honored to like build the community that I have um, over this period of time. Right. So I used to negotiate the brand deals for quite big multinational companies and influencers and do a campaign. And I would always look at how much engagement 
does the audience actually have? Like when they do a post, how much engagement does that post have? Also with the, the audience, how specific is it to their niche? So say they were in a health influencer, are the people that are following them interested in health? You know, um, and I'd look at all these things because there's pretty awesome technology now to like go in and be able to look at all these different demographic points of a following. And I think what you've done so well is it's never been about quantity for you. It's actually always been about quality and not trying to please everyone. 